I've been staring at the ceiling. I've been staying up all night. Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink of an eye. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. I am starting my weekly vlog here on a Sunday. It is a little bit of a gloomy Sunday, so I am spending it at home today. And I've just been around the place cleaning, organizing, and pretty much sorting out my life before the new week starts. I did just come back home from the supermarket and I got some flowers. Even though these aren't the freshest flowers because it's a Sunday and I feel like Sunday is not a good day for flowers. Um, the selection has been really really good at my local Woolies. I think these flowers are so beautiful, especially in this little pink vase sitting on my little table in this corner. For my top half, I'm wearing the Cezanne Leontine knit, which I wear a lot. Today, I've just kind of tied a little knot at the front uh, to kind of crop it up a little bit. And then for the dress, I have on this little end of a stories dress from the summertime. I'm kind of transitioning this dress in like a spring, autumn kind of outfit. Obviously styling it with boots as well as a knit. I spoke about these boots a lot in my full outfit of the week video. And these are Cezanne Sandy boots and I've just been obsessed with them. Because it is spring in Australia, I'm just trying to get as much wear out of them as I can before the summertime hits. This is my Sunday outfit of the day and I really like this combo. I currently have a little bit of makeup on but I'm having a bit of a spotty skin day. So I want to show you this makeup tutorial and I think I might do it tomorrow. Um, and. I've just been loving like certain eyeshadows and this lipstick I'm wearing so I really want to share with you So fingers crossed my skin is cooperating and we will do that tomorrow if not the day after So to be honest, I am having a little bit of an off day today So I've been going on YouTube and just kind of watching videos of like things to do when you're bored What I have done in my boredom is that I've kind of reorganized my phone so everything falls into its neat little folder I got some flowers which I kind of popped in this little vase. I'm trying to not do any work other than like vlog right now and leave that to, to Monday. But what I'm actually going to do is start answering some of the Q&A questions that you guys left for me in my last vlog. Thank you so much to anyone who like ever comments or likes my videos. Yeah, it's just, it's just so nice. First one is, um, what do you do to stay in shape and do you do at home workouts from Allison? When I was working in the city every day, I didn't really feel like I needed to do a lot of exercise because I would often walk like 40 minutes from one side of the city to the other here in Sydney. Whereas nowadays, because that doesn't happen, um, I do try to motivate myself to do yoga three times a week. On the weekend, I'll usually do at least like an hour or two of walking. So if you guys have any other suggestions, ideas, let me know what you do um, to stay healthy and to stay motivated to kind of continue to exercise. So this next question is, do you find yourself buying more clothes now that you have this channel? So answer is yes, um, that's the short answer. The longer answer is that I definitely shop more now because obviously with creating content, you really do need a lot more clothes than what you would think. Um, just to give you guys an idea, in a lookbook, such as those like 20 outfit kind of videos, I might show between like 20 and 40 pieces of clothing. It really does feel very repetitive um, if you do a lot of lookbooks and things like that. There's two or three more questions that I want to answer tomorrow, but I think for the rest of today, I'm just going to potter around, watch some Netflix, and I think I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi everyone, it is Monday morning, it's actually 11 o'clock. Um, I've been doing work for the last couple of hours and I've only decided now to get ready but I thought I would show you my little like hair care routine. In my last vlog I mentioned that I was getting a GHD and I've been using this um, since that video so I think it's been about two or three weeks at this point. Anyways, um, so once you turn it on it heats up really really quickly. Yep, so that took about five seconds I would say. Usually like a minute or two before I curl my hair, I'll put in this um, GHD Unplugged Heat Protectant Spray. I just like to like drag it across my hair once and then to do the curl. I'm being quite precise with the sectioning today and doing smaller sections. I feel like normally, um, depend if it's a really casual day, I'll kind of take slightly bigger sections just so it's a bit faster. But I do want to do it like properly and have it look nice today. Okay, um, I forgot to mention that this doesn't really have 
different heat settings you basically just turn it on it has the one heat setting and you're done i think some people might consider that as a con personally it doesn't bother me at all because i feel like i don't i never know which setting to have it on anyway <laughs> What I then like to do is I like to check whether all the top layers are like properly curled um, So sometimes if I feel like they're not curled enough I'll kind of go back into these top sections and just curl like curl the parts in the middle That might be like lacking in volume. You can see here that most of this is straight other than like a little curl at the bottom So I'll just kind of go back in and curl the top section a bit more it's normally just like two or three strands that I do this for on each side. I feel like that last step makes a huge difference. Otherwise, sometimes I feel like only this section is curled, but this is still really flat. Whereas this just brings a little bit more body to this top part of my head, which is kind of what I want. This is the Hair by Sam McKnight Cool Girl Barely There Texture Mist. I spray like a little bit of it into the ends, um, but then I also try to put a little bit at the crown just for that texture. I just finished having lunch and I thought I would show you my little outfit of the day. I'm wearing this little gingham and a Vasori's dress which I featured in a few videos. Obviously at home I just have my like little slippers on. But I've popped on some St. Agnes sandals which I think will be go-to sandals for me when the spring and warmer weather comes around in Sydney. I've also started with a cardigan because it is still quite cold here in Sydney. So here is basically what I am wearing today and I really like this little combo. I don't think I'm leaving the house today but if I was, um, this would be my little outfit. That is a little OOTD. And a little update on the flowers, they're still going very strong. I am just obsessed. Hello everyone, it's been a few days so it's now Thursday afternoon and I've just finished filming my Autumn Essentials video which you will have seen by the time this vlog goes up. However, it is early spring in Sydney and it's like 31 degrees today, Celsius. So I kind of picked the perfect day to film this video. But I'm just about to go and shoot all the cutaways to finish the talking part, um, which kind of took me all morning because I get so rambly on camera. I have friends playing in the background and I'm just going to go and do all the cutaways now. I think this will take... Usually cutaways will take me anywhere between one and like three hours. It's kind of depending on how organized I am. But I thought I would kind of show you behind the scenes of like a filming, editing day. A very unfortunate side effect of this heat wave is that the flowers are just like totally gone. But I did want to like savor them for this like video I filmed this morning. I am going to go and do these cutaways and I will be back. Hello everyone, it is 5.30 and I've been filming for the last 6 hours or so. Um, today was a really long filming day and I think partially because it's been so hot that I've taken breaks every per outfit just so I'm not like sweating in the clips. Tonight is my turn to make dinner so I've decided to make a Pad Ki Mao. I've never made any of the Thai noodles um, so this is my first time but, it is, but Thai noodles is absolutely one of my favourite things to eat. So I'm really excited. I hope the recipe turns out well. But other than that, I think I'm going to see you guys tomorrow because I'll be editing to, to like 12 o'clock tonight. Um, hopefully to get that video up. So this is what dinner looks like tonight. I made a pad ki mao. And we ran off red chilli so I just used a green one. I feel like it's not as spicy as it could be. But it is looking promising. I thought I would finally sit down today and share with you my everyday makeup little routine. I'm going to try and finish off the Q&As which I started earlier in this video. I got a question about whether I go thrifting here in Sydney. I think Sydney actually can be pretty great for thrifting. There's quite a lot of thrift shops around. And even in like smaller suburbs, like even where I live, there are thrift shops. The place that I go to doesn't sell a lot of clothes. They do more um, like trinket trays and like vases, homeware, a little bit of furniture as well. 
for clothes i've been to a few like curated ones where they kind of have a selection of clothing that they've picked through already um obviously with those the prices are just a little bit high um i think the cost of like the clothes there is is comparable to new really some some of these that i've been to in terms of actual thrift shops, I would absolutely love to actually do a video one day where I take you to some of my local ones and see what we will find. Um, that sounds like a really fun video. I've never done one of those, but I do love watching them. I've just used the serum foundation, which is still my favorite. And I've just gone in with the Tarte Shape Tape as always. I've started with my eyeshadow and I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. So on the lids, I just basically take these two shades um, and apply it all over. And then I just usually go into the steepest shade to put into the crease. This is actually one of the reasons why I love this palette so much. All of the colors are wearable. Sometimes I'll get like, you'll get like a really, really dark crease shade, um, which honestly I just don't use. It's just a nice like bit of definition into the crease, which I very much appreciate and then I just take that sparkly shade with my fingers and pretty much just tap it all over my or tap it on the center part of my lid so just get a little bit on my fingers and then just kind of press that onto my eyelid so the next question I got is um, is YouTube my full-time job or do I have another job so YouTube this YouTube channel is like my part-time job and then I also have another job um, which is in marketing for a hotel restaurant bar in the city I basically look after their marketing as well as their social media. So another question, is there a luxe brand that you love but don't necessarily own anything from? So in terms of accessories, I think the answer would be probably Dior. Um, I love what they've been doing the last few years and like everything from the saddlebag to like the bobby, um, I just really love their designs. I think for clothing, it would probably be Isabelle Marant Nitois. Um, there are so many pieces from them that I love. But definitely a little bit outside of what I would like to pay for clothing, especially because I don't find the quality to be amazing or outstanding. It's usually fine, like it's nice, it's pleasant, but it doesn't like blow my mind away, um, which I want it to do when it's quite expensive. I looked in the mirror and I just felt like something was off, um, and it's because I haven't done my brows. Brows done and things are much better, I'm just going to go in and apply the Stone Rose Lipstick. It is a deeper shade, but I think it's a really nice my lips but better color actually. Um, I feel like my lips are like quite pigmented usually, so like nude shades just do not work for me. Um, and I feel like this color is a really nice my lips but slightly better shade. I actually find this lip color to look quite natural on. I don't feel like it is like too much or it's too red or orange. Um, it's, just, it's like a nice muted brick red kind of shade, um, definitely with some like warm brown tones coming through as well. So I really love this lipstick, it has been on my lips since I got it a few weeks ago and yeah, literally obsessed. Charlotte Tilbury is definitely my favourite makeup brand, it is just everything. Um, so these two products have just been on my face ever since I got them. I used to love this palette which is their Dolce Vita palette. But I just find this one so much more wearable. This one has that super dark shade, which I just don't use a lot. I'm gonna quickly do my hair and I'll be back. I wanted to do a nice close up of the makeup. So the little the eyeshadow colors as well as the lipstick. Um, the mailman just came with a little package. Um, this is from T2. I ordered some new teas because I've pretty much well, I have some like loose leaf teas, but um, I'm missing some of the ones that I frequently drink. So, I thought I would do a little bit of a replenish. I got three different teas from T2 this time. Nothing is actually new, I've actually had all of these, and these are some of my favorites from T2. I went back to the Sleep Tight tea, this is one of my favorites. It has lemon balm, lavender, jasmine blossom, and rose petals. This is a dream, it's probably my favorite sleep tea ever. I got one of their English breakfast teas just because it was on sale. I've had their English breakfast before and I really like it. I think it's a little bit stronger than what I normally have, which I appreciate. I also got my favorite fruit tea. This is the papaya rose. Of all their like fruit teas, this is probably my favorite. Kind of looks 
like this and it has apple, papaya, blackberry leaves, rose hip seed, lemon myrtle, rose buds, um, a few other things and I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna have this one this morning. Onto today's outfit. All I've done today is really run out to the post. Otherwise, I've just been at home as, as per usual really. I'm wearing a Cezanne pink knit. I am super excited for their new fall launch. I've been seeing Cezanne's very gorgeous fall collection. I, it hasn't launched yet while I'm filming this. It's about to this weekend. I think you'll see a Cezanne fall video very, very soon. For the trousers, I have on these Arquette navy trousers. It's got an adjustable waist. These are super comfortable because they're a lyocell material. And if I was going wear somewhere nicer than the post office, I would love to pair them with these little Valentino sandals. To the post office, I just wore my trainers. This is a little combo today. The weather has taken a big dip and it's like 22 or 3 degrees today, which is not your normal for spring weather. Um, so this outfit kind of reflects that. All right, time to try this tea. The scent of it is heavenly. It's really like taken over my entire room. This fruit tea is quite light, but it actually does taste like what it smells. I don't know if you guys feel this, but sometimes tea smell amazing, and then when you drink it, there's not that much flavor. This definitely has like a fruity sourness to the actual taste, um, which I love. If you have access to a tea too, and you're looking for a new tea to try, this is pretty, pretty great. It is Sunday, and I am just about to run out to my local Shopping center, I'm basically just gonna have a little bit of a wander around, pick up some like supplies that I've just run out of, um, and I thought I would take you guys with me. I am wearing the Cezanne Mario knit, which is a favorite, as well as my End of a Stories white trousers, and I have my little Chloe test bag today. Finally leaving the house, so I thought I would take you guys along with me. I'm at Uniqlo and I thought I'd just try on this little top and trouser combo. I'm at Ikea now and I'm just going to go and pop in for some frames. I'm hoping to create a gallery wall and I thought Ikea would be a nice place to get some fairly affordable frames um, for that. This is so cute. I am back from Ikea and I thought I would quickly show you um, what I picked up. I did have a bit of like a checklist of things I wanted to get. It's not the most interesting haul but I got a few of these Ikea wooden hangers just for outerwear and jackets. I broke a few of mine actually so I'm kind of just replacing it um, this time. I also got five of these um, trouser skirt hangers. These are the ones that I use in my wardrobe. I like to keep my hangers fairly uniform. It's a bit hard to be matchy-matchy all the time but where possible, I tried to, and this was kind of like the little impromptu purchase I made. This one has like a tag that says handmade, um, and this is the name of it. And I just thought it was a really cool concept. The reason why I decided to pick this up is that I would love to put this on a hook somewhere near the door of my room. Because I have so many of these um, reusable bags that kind of have no home and they just kind of lie around randomly. So it would be nice to kind of put them all in one place and just have it a little bit more organized than it is now. And then I have the main reason why I went, which is that I am actually in the middle of creating a gallery wall. So I got some of these um, ribber frames. Um, these are like the 30 by 40 centimeters and I also got a few of the 21 by 30. So I got three of these and two of these. 
um, and I have a couple of other frames which I'm going to kind of mix together for a bit of a gallery wall. So that is a little bit of an exciting project that I am in the midst of doing and I'm actually going to vlog that process. Um, it will be a few weeks until that's up but I am very excited. I think I'm going to leave my vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the future, my vlogs are definitely going to be a bit more structured. Um, this was a very spontaneous vlog that I just decided to do last Sunday because I really wanted to film. Um, but yeah, in the future, they're actually going to be about something. I hope you guys did enjoy this video nonetheless, and I'll see you guys next Thursday with a new fashion video. Bye-bye.